Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video A new month has started. So of course we have new apps to share with you guys in this video. I have some pretty cool apps and most of them are actually super useful. So you will probably end up using a lot of these on your device on a daily basis. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is the trick to always having cool apps on your device and that's subscribing to this channel. I will upload and I have been uploading a lot of apps videos with really cool and useful apps. So if you haven't already, like most of you guys haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel before leaving this video. And we're starting things off with web scroller. This is actually an extension for your Safari on iOS 15. What it does, it allows for the website to scroll automatically. So let's say you're reading something and you don't want to keep on scrolling, you can have the website scroll automatically. After you have installed the app, head on to Safari, just tap on the dots or on the AA button right there, tap on web scroller and you will see this interface where you can choose the speed of the scrolling. So you can go from point one to up to 10 here and of course choose the speed that you want then just tap on the start button you can see right there the website will start scrolling automatically now of course while it's scrolling you can still change the speed of the scrolling by going back there just change it from here you can see you can choose the speed to be much slower or of course much much faster and when you're done with this just tap the stop button it will stop right there and of course you can continue scrolling manually if you want to but at any time you can change the speed and of course start and stop scrolling wallpapers hd is the next app for this video it is an amazing wallpaper app that offers a ton of different wallpapers and it's really interesting once you open the app this is all you will see right here so we'll have tags which allow you to quickly go ahead and search for wallpapers so if you just tap right there you can see a bunch of really beautiful wallpapers you tap save and you're good to go that's it that's how simple it is to find beautiful wallpapers and download them to your device another cool thing is that of course you can search so you can see the interface is very simple every time you go here you will have new tags and all you have is a search bar right there at the top so you either search for something or just tap on one of the tags and you can go ahead and find really beautiful wallpapers which are actually a lot there's a number a huge number of wallpapers and the quality is pretty great what gif is the next app for the video it allows you to create gifs out of photos or pick a few photos and turn them into a live photo or turn a video into a live photo which then allows you to set that video as a wallpaper for your lock screen it's pretty simple to use you tap on create and just load the photos you want to use once you have loaded the photos you can go ahead and change the ratio right here of course choose the ratio that you want if you want to use it as a wallpaper you choose this ratio right here 916 and then of course you can change the speed here so you can see the transition there the speed on how fast it will move from one photo to another and then simply tap the share button choose the resolution of course you can choose the highest right there and then you can choose to save this as a video as a gif file or just save it as a live photo and then of course you can use it as a wallpaper but what if you want to turn a video into a live wallpaper you can do that pretty simply as well once you have found the video, what you can do here is add text to that video if you want to. You can of course go ahead and reverse it right here. You can add stickers and change the speed of the video as well if you want to. And then just tap the share button. And again, you can save this as a live photo and then use the video as a wallpaper for your lock screen. Volume Pro is the next app for the video. This one is really interesting. It allows us to set the volume of your device at any exact percentage you want. Like right now, the volume is at 1%. I can just go ahead and tap here, go to 33, just like that. You can see it will actually change the volume of your device. You can have your favorites here. So let's say you have a favorite percentage of volume when you're maybe listing to a podcast or when playing games you can just have your favorites here by tapping on the dots right there tap on manage favorites and you can add a list of favorites here and of course have them of course categorized by like maybe podcasts games videos music and all that and all you have to do let's say you want to start listening to a podcast just open the app tap right there you have set the volume at the exact percentage you need and you're good to go you can go ahead and keep on listening to whatever you want 
time bar is the next app for the video. It allows you to track time. Of course, with these bars right here and the percentages, you can track how much time is left until a certain date. So if you tap the plus button, you can go ahead and set something quickly here, like a month, for example. So this month, you can see it starts May 1, it ends June 1. Go ahead, tap right there, and it will show you how much of that time has passed. So it's 7%. Of course, you can choose your own dates. Let's say maybe you want to have one bar until their birthday or something like that. You can just go ahead and choose the start time. Of course, if it's today, you can go ahead and choose it from today, tap on create, and then it will start actually tracking the time until that date. And the cool thing, you can have the widget on the home screen, which will show you the progress bars right here. And just like that, you can keep track of the time left until a certain date. Track it is an app that allows you to track your Bluetooth devices. Of course, nowadays we all have a ton of devices. All of them have Bluetooth and you have them laying around the house, especially things like the AirPods, which are really small and you will probably lose them very often. With this app, all you have to do is just go ahead, open the app, it will scan. You can tap on one device right here and it will show you the strength. So as you have them further away, of course the strength will be weaker but of course when you bring them closer to the device you can see it gets of course at 100 percent and once you have found it you tap right there and you're good to go so what you will have here is also the ability to rearrange these so if you want to rearrange devices based on signal strength name or last updated and if you go to settings right here you can go ahead and choose how you want to measure the distance you will have feet and meters as well a pretty cool app which again you can use for free and easily find your bluetooth devices around the house the next app is called show cut now i did a full review of this app on a previous video i will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video and you can see it on the card right here it is a pretty cool app that will allow you to have a very different home screen and lock screen on your device I will just show you guys here the app if you haven't seen the video, but if you really want to use the app, make sure you see the video. That's a detailed tutorial on how to use it. So you will basically have two shortcuts that you will have to install from here, show live and show live helper. After you have installed these, you can go to themes right here and you will find really beautiful themes for the home screen and lock screen of your device. You can go ahead and pick any of these and just go ahead and install them on your device and they will apply to the home screen and lock screen whichever it is and you will have a really great home screen and lock screen on your device that will look much much different from other devices again this is just like a general review of the app but if you really want to use it make sure you go ahead and see the detailed video you will find all the instructions there the next app for the video is called lingo it allows to quickly search for words anything you want and it will basically find anything you need for that word you can type anything you want to look up here or you can just scan text from there so if you go to a word that you're interested in you can see it will show you the dictionary right there you go to the dictionary tab here you will see all the different dictionaries you can add any one of these and of course you can go ahead and see the dictionary for that word you will have also images of that word you will have serial knowledge right here you can also go ahead and search the web if you want to this will google that word for you and open it on safari again you will have images and anything else you need about that word so pretty useful app if you're maybe a student or someone that needs to write something you need certain words you need to know the meaning and everything about that word you can just go ahead and look it up on this app last but not least a simple app called expenses the easiest way to track your expenses you will have right here different categories you can just go ahead and type a name here add a color for that category add it right here what you need to do then just go ahead and type here under the category of course your expense so let's say we have your youtube tap right there on the button it will add that expense and of course it will show your month right here and see how much you're basically how much you're spending for each month for each like category that you have like subscriptions maybe cars or something like that and if you go to the menu right here you can see you will have your month so if we go to april right here it will show our 
our details right here regarding April. You will have the other month here. So any month that passes will be right here on this list and the current month will be on the home screen. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to install any of these apps, you will find all the links in the pinned comment. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.